Milwaukee is getting some ridiculous length to add to their ridiculous length. DJ Wilson is 6'10", but he's got a wingspan of 7'3". Good athlete. Another guy who's an excellent finisher around the basket, 73%. Another guy with really good footwork. He can play pick and pop. He can drive it. A very good shot blocker, shot changer. As Jay Billis highlighted, the Milwaukee Bucks knew what they were doing when they selected DJ Wilson with their first pick in the 2017 draft. Athletic, versatile, can spread the floor, and can finish around the rim? That sounds like a great forward to have on any NBA team, let alone a championship contending team such as the Bucks. But sadly, the situation with Wilson has been that he can't get many minutes under head coach Mike Budenhoiser. And in the few minutes that he did get, it was mainly in garbage time, with few impact placed on the game. But with this being said, the Rockets, they may have just found another gem to go alongside Kenyon Martin Jr., Kevin Porter Jr., and even Christian Wood for the future. So let's break it down. Let's talk about how deceptively good Wilson has been, what he's going to be able to provide for the Rockets, and what the expectations should be moving forward. If you were to tell any NBA fan that your team just traded for somebody who only averages 3.6 points and 2.1 rebounds, on 37% shooting from the field especially as well, they'd probably think you're crazy to believe that he can be a major part of any team. But you see, there are exceptions, and Wilson is one of them. How is this a case? Well, let's look at the game tape, shall we? Pretty much. As mentioned earlier before, Wilson doesn't get many minutes. In fact, so far this season, He's only being played around 9 a game, and the season before, it was around 10. But in those few instances, this and last season, where he did get an extended run of minutes, Wilson produced, and he produced very well. For example, last year, DJ was only able to start in one game. But since he was given 30 minutes, instead of 8 or 9, Wilson was able to average 12 points and 8 rebounds, on 40% shooting from 3. In this season, in games where he's being given at least 14 minutes a night, he's been able to average 10 points and 5 rebounds, on 66% shooting from 3. And finally, in his sophomore season, where he was given the most minutes in any of his seasons so far, at 18 a night, Wilson proved to be an all-around threat, averaging a double-double in the games he started, 11.7 points and 10.3 rebounds. So, what am I trying to say with this? Pretty much, DJ has been trapped under the Bucks. Milwaukee is in a win-now mode. They don't care if one of their particular prospects doesn't get the chance to develop. If they can't keep up, what happens is Wilson's case. 8-9 to nine minutes a game. As a result, what this does to Wilson is that he isn't able to find a rhythm in the game. What usually happens to these types of players is that instead of playing the game freely and with a sense of confidence, the exact opposite occurs more often than not. Instead of playing freely, there is a sense of worry, of being subbed out if making a mistake on the court. This worry leads to no confidence, and with no confidence, I can assure you, you won't shoot the ball that well, and just won't play well in general. But now, this is where the tide turns, and the tide just happens to be the Houston Rockets. I'm guaranteeing you right now, Houston is going to allow DJ to play through his mistakes. Why do I say this? Well, the obvious answer would be that the Rockets are tanking, and that's very clear. But the reason why I say this is that the Rockets, they're in a state of exploring young talent. 
especially with the likes of forwards KJ Martin Jr. and Justin Patton. Patton is in a similar situation as DJ, a young and talented player coming out of the draft, but struggled to get playing time and just eventually would get released by the Timberwolves. But on the Rockets this season, especially since the start of March, he's been given around 25 minutes a game. Kenyon Martin Jr., ever since being called up from the G League, is being given 31 and a half minutes a night. Pretty much, the Rockets are going to give any of these quote unquote failed talents their chance to make it in the NBA. And the best thing about this is that both KJ and Patton are showing that it's working. In those 31 minutes that KJ is getting, he is averaging 14 points and 7 rebounds a game. And even though Patton only averages 6.3 points and 4.5 rebounds, he has proven to be an energetic role player that the Rockets can use for many years to come. DJ is definitely going to get his chance. And my personal opinion, he's going to be a stud. If he can get around 25 to 30 minutes a night, I can easily see him averaging around 13 points and 6 rebounds on good 3 point shooting. Like just imagine for a second, Wood and DJ Wilson both being on the floor, hitting threes and protecting the rim, that is something that many Rocket fans should be excited about. Let me know what you guys think. Until next time, peace.